Good evening, everybody. Thanksgiving football began tonight on this Thanksgiving Eve. Seven games in Rhode Islanders. Just an appetizer for what we have in store tomorrow. Our main menu of 22 games. Now we start with an intriguing game tonight. St. Ray's and Moses Brown meeting the D2 Super Bowl next weekend. Tonight, a dress rehearsal of sorts. Both sides deciding to play it safe. Second stringers getting most of the work tonight. Quakers up 14 nothing. Saints facing fourth and goal. They go for it, but Hunter Stokes not having it. The sack ends the drive and ends the half. Freshman Michael Walsh stepping in for Adam Romano at QB. He produced big time. Hurry decided to tuck it and run, taken down in a big way by Brian Torres. But it got the Quakers inside the red zone, then Walsh seals it, finding Vincent Arminio in the end zone. MB stays undefeated 26-0 over St. Ray's. Shea looking to close out their season with win number nine, taking on Tolman at McCoy. Wild game, Raiders trailing, punt comes to Gerald So. He shakes and bakes 37 yards later. He is into the end zone. Tigers would not quit, though. Tyrell Whitaker hands it off to Morris Shea. Check out Shea with the spin move in for six. Extra point ties it at 27, but the Raiders move down the field. Leandro Debrito, the field goal to win it. It is good. Shea over Tolman, 30 to 27, ties the Turkey Day series at seven off. Clasco will play for the D3 title, so they took it easy on their starters visiting Mount Pleasant. Kelties took advantage, protecting a 12-7 second half lead. James Sackey with the almost sack attack backfield. And Mount seals it. Eric Palmer rolls out, avoids the pressure, throws it across his body, finds Christian Johnson. 65 yards later, that's a touchdown. Mount Pleasant tops classical 24-7. Central hosting Hope over at Conley Stadium. Knights giving thanks during pregame prayer. Central up 6 0 in the second quarter. Knights returner Tony Reeves receives this one near the 25. He's got some blockers. Watch out. He's going 65 yards to the house. That's two 65 yard touchdowns in consecutive games. They weren't done there. This time it's quarterback Christian Leo slinging it to the corner, finding tight end Franklin Mercado. Nine yard touchdown. Central cruises to 38 6 victory in the Dick Zotti Jerome Morgan Thanksgiving Bowl. EG will play in the D3 Super Bowl first. Hosting Exeter West Greenwich tonight, quarterback Nick Andriozzi, former hometown hero in the shotgun, finds Hayden Margolis, 11-yard score, Avengers up 14-0. Then it's Andriozzi moving the ball downfield again, flushed out of the pocket. He's going to run with it. Check out the little spin. He's going to dive for the pylon. 26-yard scamper. East Greenwich wins 46-22. Narragansett trying to rebound after a 51-0 loss last week to Classical, facing Charo, third and seven from the 29. Quarterback Kyle Pereira unloads over the middle. He connects with Austin McKenna, who is down at the one-yard line. Same drive, Pereira tosses this one, intended for Connor McKnight, but it falls into McKenna's hand. Either way, that's a touchdown, tied at six apiece. But the Chargers kept plugging this clutch play to Jacob Burgard sets up a quarterback keeper from Dominic Seringioni. Cherho edges out Narragansett 21-20. to Central Falls hosting Lincoln after two illegal procedure penalties on the Lions. They're backed up way back. They would go for it. Or pay for it, excuse me. Marcelino De Vega receives the kick, seals the lane, and he's off. One man to escape the goal line. He does just that extra point. No good. Lincoln holding on to the 7 6 lead, but they would extend it. Check out the run from Nathan Fay. Nobody on the Central Falls roster can bring him down. Still on his feet. He had two touchdowns on the night. Someone tackle him. Lions 26 6 over the Warriors. Don't forget, catch all the highlights of Thanksgiving. Tomorrow, Turkey Wrap, 6.30 and 10.35 here on Fox Providence. A dizzying amount of games, 22 in total from Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. Elsewhere.